Hey budgeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo, I'm 29, working on my and my husband's financial freedom journey. If you're returning, hey friend. So in this video, we're gonna go over the second, not the first, the second <laughs> paycheck closeout for the month of August, as well as our transactions. I'm so excited because, um, actually i'm not i'm gaslighting myself i'm just trying to convince myself that i'm excited i don't i don't get a lot of y'all y'all know i don't like transactions <laughs> so am i excited no but um last time i wasn't over for the first budget paycheck closeout or whatever so yeah i think this is gonna be a little bit better i hope so here we are. So first things first, if you don't know, I'm on my journey to 5,500 YouTube subscribers by the end of 2024. So if you're watching this video and you haven't already, click that subscribe button, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Um, also, if you don't know, this right here is my budget planner. Basically, it's a binder, okay? You can just go buy a binder or a notebook from the store and budget in anything. I love this. I love y'all i love budgeting i don't know i am obsessed it's crazy but i love to do it okay so now we're gonna scroll on over scroll on over scroll on over baby okay we're gonna move on to the second paycheck for august well we're actually gonna flip it on the back and we're gonna write on the transaction i'm gonna take these out and y'all know i write hard so i had to take a couple of them out darling all right move this over you said over like so and like such uh maybe not maybe not right there okay so this is the second paycheck budget that we're gonna go ahead and close out but first we do the transactions i'm gonna zoom you guys in i don't have the best lighting today usually i use the lord's lighting however your girl is recording early in the morning okay so first thing we're gonna do is start where we finished off the last transactions. Um, it's not gonna be in order. I know 10 out of 10 sucks, but it's just the truth. Okay, so number one, I do have a problem with coffee when it's time for work. Yes, I only, well, I try to only drink it when I actually go into work because like I told you guys before, I need to pick me up, okay? I'm so sorry, I am not happy-go-lucky when it comes time for work, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> I say all that to say, y'all are gonna see some um, some transactions because I went quite a bit of time, okay? And is anybody else the type of person that'll just go to the store because you know, I don't know, they need some limes or onions or something? We are those people, which is why like we have little charges or whatever on our card or for food four dollars or this next one five dollars and 26 cents we do that this is but although we don't think it's bad this is literally how the money for the food ends up adding up your girl be nervous okay she's nervous but also there's um this transaction i'm kind of sad because i've never really been charged a late fee like I've struggled with paying credit cards and stuff, but I've always paid them on time. And this, this was the time. This was the time that your girl went ahead and um, got a late fee. And although I'm, I have an attitude about it, it's nobody's fault but my own. I honest to God forgot. My husband and I are about to go on our honeymoon slash one year anniversary. You know what I'm saying? And. I've been swiping my card for stuff for our honeymoon. But the thing is, I have the money, it's just in my high yield savings account. So that's, that's, that's fun. And so because it's in my high yield savings account, I have to move it over from my savings account to my checking. And that usually takes some time. And I kind of waited a little too long. And then I look at my credit card statement and next thing you know, boom, they charge me for um, a late fee. And so that sucked, but it is what it is. My mom told me it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Cause I, I just, I don't know. I just hate when stuff like that happens. Cause it really is unnecessary money that these banks and these institu financial institutions are taking. And I just don't like that. Me and my homegirl, we don't like that. 
okay so now we're on 19th and it says it's for sam's gas here's the thing i think i only gave us actually 30 dollars for gas and i spent 30 dollars 83 cents why i'm not worried about that is because if you guys don't know previously or like on my other videos what i'll do is my husband will take his 30 or whatever we allocate towards gas and then i will take my 30 or whatever i allocate towards gas and we'll just keep it in our separate checking accounts so it kind of i have a little bit of money left over because i don't always spend the gas money so when times like this and i go 83 cents over it's really you know not that big deal okay so this is going to be a bill and this is going to be apple music if you don't know the saga of mo and is she gonna get family apple music she got it it is 1699 and it's actually not bad um it actually i previously was using i had a student account for forever because my college had our um you know college emails that they weren't i don't know like giving up for us or whatever and apple and Apple Music decided, hey, we can just cancel whenever we want. And you've been on here for way too long. And I was sad, but I guess we all have to grow up. So I just felt like it was easier because my husband pays for his Apple Music. Um, like I think it's $10.99. And then I was paying $5.99 for the student one. So then you put it together, it equals $16.99. Now I'm able to take my mom because she was paying $5.99 because she has a forever student email as well. So I told her to just stop paying for it and then I'll just pay the $16.99 for the three of us. And then that way, um, uh, I would give more people like my grandma or something, but she doesn't have an iPhone. So it just makes it easier, I guess. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, I told you guys, I'm going back and forth. Oh, my husband and I went to the movies. That's M-O-V-I-E-S, that's fun money. This $15 was actually for the... What did he get? You guys, he got french fries and I, well, he got french fries and I got an icy. Um, we saw Blink twice. 10 out of 10, recommend, never, not gonna, you know, tell the plot or anything, but it was so good. But it was definitely a, um, a psychological thriller. Is that what it's called? I don't know, it was crazy. It's one of those movies like Get Out, I would never go see it again. Um, but it was good though, it was good. So shout out to them but i'm i can only deal with so much emotional damage <laughs> i am just not the one like i love a good hallmark movie guys okay i don't i can't get down with too much crazy but good for her them good for her good channing tatum you never i've never really seen him in anything too serious so that was that was real good real real, real good how much is this? This was coffee. So I got one of my coworkers something. This cost me a little bit more. So it was ten dollars and seventy three cents. Why am I writing August so ugly? Okay, so on the twenty fourth, I went to TJ Maxx. Um, I'm a cheap girly, y'all know. But yeah, I love a good like um, accessory. Okay, I love a good necklace. I love a good earring, and you can get some really cute stuff from TJ Maxx. So I got a necklace and an earring because I also broke one. They're cheap. Well, not that cheap because that necklace cost me like $15, which is why this costs so much. I don't know what I want to put this in yet. So we'll just have to see. But yeah, um, 10 out of 10, recommend you guys go see Blink twice. I mean, if you can handle it because trust me, I get it, okay? I get it. Okay, so now on the 27th, we have the Aug um. The 27th of August, we have the Hulu bill. If you don't know, Hulu costs me 99 cents a month because of Black Friday. Black Friday's coming up. Y'all, do what you got to do. Handle your business. I will be trying to get it again. You can get it as many times as you want. You do have to get um, use a new email. Some people told me that's just not worth it. And um, I hear you, but I'm not paying regular for Hulu. So that's just how I feel about that. So that's 31.22. So now we're about to go straight into food. Um, I've been using cash for food. So this is why the most of the food, obviously not all of it, most of the food is gonna be down here because I used, I looked at actual receipts, not um, my statements for my credit card and stuff like that. Okay, so August 17th, Frost's, that was food, 31.22. Then we got August 18th and um, this is, Aldi now also no I was gonna say this is when it hit the account but no because this is actually receipts so clearly you can see what we did here so this one is 31.99 
um and then we have august 17 18 21st this one is rouse's again rouse's is not cheap y'all but it has what we need i am a pescatarian if you don't know so i eat a lot of beyond meat and i put it in like i'll make pastas like lasagna and stuff and i'll put the beyond meat in it so it can fill up my husband because ooh, men eat a lot and rouse's is one of the only places that i know that really has it sometimes walmart does sometimes walmart doesn't you know life be life okay and then we got we're going back once and going august 18th and this was sam's and food and i spent 34 dollars and 16 cents so food 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 these are all food I only went to sam's once so there's that and then <sighs> a handy dandy lovely beautiful late fee i don't know what i'm gonna put this under i'm just gonna say late and fee because that's what it is and this cost me 29 dollars. again my mom's like it's not you know how much I used to pay for late fees? I was paying like $50. I'm like, okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. But also like, I don't like this, <laughs> but it's on me. I have nobody to blame but myself. But yeah, I'm just disappointed, y'all, disappointed. Let me get some highlighters out so we can start seeing where the money actually went. Okay, so we got a yellow, a blue, and a purple with a pink. Um, I wanna see what did i previously do for the transactions darling so that's september okay so food i did in this one what is that gold that that looks like yellow so let's just try to stay afloat i guess so here we're gonna say and that's gonna be food i really gotta get me some new pens like a black one that would be nice that would be nice and then we're just gonna highlight all the food and get her together okay food food um, food what else and i just think these down here i don't know what i'm considering the late fee under because now I, now i owe that food food and food and then let's do the blue for bill I'm trying to keep some type of consistency oh i don't even know if you guys can't even see what i was talking about let me zoom you out a little bit okay still kind of can't see let me show you so pink is food the blue is bill I don't know what color that is. Orange for home, fun money, a different type of pink, and then gas, like a yellowy, greeny looking, funky color. So let's, again, I'm trying to stay in the same mind frame, but you know, you do what you got to do or whatever. Okay, so these are gonna be bills. And previously, I even put the 804. Uh, which is when I do half the rent on here. So I think I'm gonna do that as well. So when did I get, we get paid? So the 16th, so I'm gonna say the 16th right here, August 16th. And I'm gonna say half rent. We're gonna put you in the bill and we're gonna say 804. Good for me, keeping track of everything. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is highlight the bill so that Apple Music, so Apple Music and like Hulu, um, I have a section called subscriptions. This is what this goes under. Oh, internet, um, that was 5150. That usually doesn't change unless they F up and then I ask for a discount. So that's bill and then this is bill. Hey, bill. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get into um gas oh yeah that's not that color but that's okay and this is gonna be gas and then gas is gonna be here but we're not really keeping up with gas because like i said my husband take his amount i take my amount and then whatever we have left over we just keep in our separate savings account or whatever and then we go from there not savings checking accounts okay so now let's just do a little mathy mathy math love a good math 
and we're gonna add this food up so we can see what the numbers are looking like okay so we have four dollars and two cent okay because that's the very first one 402 so we're gonna plus five dollars and 26 cents that's the second one for rouses and then we're gonna add 13.12 Okay, that's 22.40. Now we're down here. That's gonna be 31.22 plus 31.99 plus 22 plus, ooh, I'm scared. Oh, actually, I'm not that scared. Plus 34.16. Ooh, 141.77 thus far. And we're not really going back to the grocery store right now. So 141.77. Come on now with a friend. Love that for us. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and try to close out this budget. It shouldn't be bad. It shouldn't be a lot. So first things first, if you don't know, we are doing our zero-based budgeting, meaning that every dollar has a job and um, no dollars left behind. Okay? Okay. Okay. So meaning first things up we're starting out with zero dollars we might not really have zero dollars in our account but this is just what we put because what we do have in our account might just be a little bounce back money that's what i need to use for the late fee the little bounce back money okay clearly i use two different purples i see it come through okay so mo full time um is actual i am paid salary and i get paid I get paid salary and so every two weeks I get the same thing. So this is gonna be two thousand three hundred and ninety-six dollars and one cent. These two purples are going to bother me. Okay, and oh full time, this is my husband. He gets paid hourly, and so I just give him a gist, you know, and he just makes around sixteen hundred. I hope that makes some type of sense. Okay. So he gets one thousand six hundred and twenty-four dollars and four cents. This was his actual paycheck. So I said 141.77. Just want to make sure I wrote that down. Okay, so let's add this up. We got $2,396 and one cent. Then we're gonna add 1624.04. Okay, so we actually brought in an amount of 4,020 and then five cents. That's a lot of zeros. Four thousand twenty dollars and five cents. Okay, so this was our actual income for the second paycheck. Now we're gonna move over to our bills. Okay, so our rent actually was 804. Why? Because we our rent is actually 1608 or 07, but we just take half of each check for the next month, not the month that we're currently in. It's for the next month. Um, some people would say that means you're a month ahead, and I get that. Okay, so now we're gonna take four thousand twenty dollars and five cents, and we're gonna subtract eight zero four. So now we have three thousand two hundred sixteen dollars and five since 3216.05 okay that's kind of ugly now we're gonna move it on to variable spending what we actually do for food was 141.77 let me find out we're trying to stay in budget 141.77 10 out of 10 recommend the pasta the pasta potatoes the rice helps uh fill up my husband and if i do beyond me or like something special i only try to do that once because beyond meat by itself is almost ten dollars so you know the, the numbers add up also the bulk buy from sam's club with the fruit like that 30 some dollars was strictly fruit y'all because i love a good fruit so there's that so 141.77 and then like i said i just give my husband his 30 for gas and my 30 for gas and the same thing goes with fun money like we don't really calculate the fun money because I have a little bit of fun money. Sometimes when we don't take the cash of fun money and we just do like in our checking accounts, he takes it from our the joint and then puts it to his separate checking and I take it from the joint, put it to my separate checking. Usually I'll have a little bit left over. I don't usually always spend the $50. But we do try to go on date nights and stuff like that. So like going to the movies or we like to go bowling, we're those people. <laughs> so yeah, we're not, I don't add them up. I just say, take your 50, I take my 50, take your 30, I take my 30 boom so that's that for gas and fun and then we have sinking funds which we did do four hundred dollars it actually came in handy one of the some of the sinking fund money because my husband's um car battery died and he went and got a new battery so you know life is out here lifing and i told him don't worry about it because we literally have sinking fund money so easy so three thousand two hundred sixteen dollars and five cents is what's left over here but we're gonna add 141.77 because that's the food plus 60 for gas 30 for him 30 for me plus 100 for fun 50 for him 50 for me plus 
400 for sinking funds, that is 701.77. And now, did we have intention of like our, um, not all, but some of our sinking fund money right here specifically to go to my husband's car battery? No, holidays are coming up. But it didn't matter because, you know, you do what you gotta do, you use the money that you have and it works out. So we'll have to readjust what we're gonna do for sinking funds for the third paycheck, which we will get paid this week, but you do what you gotta do. Okay, 701.77, we're gonna take this away from $3,216.05. So now we have a remaining balance of 2514.28. Now we're gonna bring it up to our IRAs. If you don't know, we are trying to reach the $7,000 goal for um, IRA for the year. I was gonna say the month. Ooh, that's crazy. For the year of 2024 per person, that's the max you can get. So we gave his 216, we gave mine 216, and we are investing these numbers, okay? 2514.28. So when we first started off and I was explaining it to my husband, um, we would he would put it in his IRA account and he would not invest it. And I'm like, babe, did you know you had to invest it? And he really didn't know. And I know a lot of people don't know that. So I 10 out of 10 recommend you guys, once you get your money for your IRA and you put it in the account, you have to take the money and invest it. It sucks that they don't do it automatically. I know life be lifing, but we have to do it because I really feel like a lot of people just have their money sitting there without it being invested. Okay. So four hundred thirty-two dollars. We're gonna subtract two thousand five hundred fourteen dot twenty-eight. So now we have two thousand eighty-two twenty-eight. Two thousand eighty-two twenty-eight. So when we come over here, you know we gave the student loans two thousand um, dollars, but we technically have eighty-two dollars left over. So. We technically have 82.28. I love a good money left over. Do we have it really left over? We're probably gonna put it towards the dang $29 late fee and whatnot. But before we get too far into this, I do wanna see what we're gonna owe because we have some goals, not owe, but what our goals are and how can we get there? Let's see. So the goals for them for the sinking funds were six hundred dollars, and then because I wanted to get my um, certification fully funded, and then um, for extra money towards student loans five thousand, and then stay in food budget. So also a thousand dollars for what is it called the IRA. So let's do some math. So the very first paycheck we did two ninety one for IRA, and then the second paycheck two sixteen. So, so when it comes to our IRA, we have already given $507 and when we minus a thousand, we owe 493 to actually, oh no, I'm lying. I think I'm lying y'all because there's a commission check in here. Let's see. All right? Didn't we do the commission check? Am I tripping? I might be tripping y'all. Oh. Here it is. <laughs> okay, so we have, let's do it again. So for the first check, we have 291. Second check, we have 216 plus 216. And then the third check we have, which is the commission check for my husband and the YouTube check, $100. So we are already given $607 to our IRA and we're gonna subtract a thousand because that's the goal for the month. So we owe $393. I'm gonna write this on the side because I want my next check our next check to actually have this amount so we can meet meet our goals. Okay, so we need 393 for our IRA to actually meet our goals. Not mad, life. Okay, it's doable. Now let's get into the student loans. We say 5,000 and that's extra. So our actual bills are 300 and 197, 300 for my husband, 197 for me. We don't count this as extra because this is how much interest that accrues that, you know, we end up having to pay anyway. So like be laughing. <laughs> so the first check, it was 355.13. When I say 5,000, I mean total. When we split it, it's going to be 2,500 for me, 2,500 for, for him. So $355.13. Second paycheck plus 2,000. Okay. Third paycheck plus 507. So that's two thousand eight hundred sixty-two dollars thirteen cents. So when we subtract five thousand dollars, we still owe two thousand one hundred thirty-seven dollars and eighty-seven dang cent. Two 
137.87 student loans. Okay. Between 2137.87, plus um, 393, we need for the next check at least $2,530 and 87 cents going to IRA and our student loans. And then obviously we got like food and gas, fun money, crap like that. So I think we're working, we're making great progress. I think we're cutting it tight, but that's what we do. Also, we probably need, like I said, a little bit more sinking fund money to go to like travel and stuff because we did have to hit in the sinking fund money for my husband's um, what is that thing called battery for his car but thank god we had the money i 10 out of 10 recommend everybody do sinking funds you know save money to the side so when you have a rainy day you can literally just tap into it all right thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye